nothing says, hey, it's the holidays, quite like a big old glass of frosty eggnog. The trouble is, all that eggnog that you're seeing on grocery store shelves is packed with sugar and other additives. But don't despair, my nog-loving friends. The good news is that it's super easy to make your own. Hi, I'm Carolyn from All Day I Dream About Food, and today we're making sugar-free, keto-friendly eggnog. Now this recipe has been on my blog for over 10 years, and I believe I may have been the first person to ever publish a recipe for sugar-free eggnog. It stood the test of time, and we make some every holiday season. So let's get started. Now my original recipe makes eight servings, but that's a lot of eggnog, especially if your kids don't like it. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a half batch. Now, one of the things I do recommend since you're working with eggs is a good instant read thermometer like this one. It will help you determine when your eggs have come up to temperature. So we're gonna start with our eggs. I've got two whole eggs here. And we're also going to add one egg yolk. Now we're gonna add our sweetener. You can really use any sweetener you like here because it doesn't rely on the sweetener for consistency. I actually have here a mix of swerve and allulose and I'm putting in one third cup. You can make this sweeter if you like it. You can make it less sweet if you don't like it that sweet, whatever you like. Then I'm going to add about one eighth of a teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna whisk that all together. Now we're gonna whisk in two cups of milk. Right here, I have two cups of almond milk. If you wanna be nut free, you can still make this. I recommend hemp milk. But you wanna slowly add this and whisk as you go. At this point, you don't have any heat on, it's just to get it well combined. And once you've whisked in all the milk, you're gonna turn your heat to low. And you're going to stay nearby, whisking very frequently, almost constantly, until the mixture begins to thicken. And it should reach 165 on your instant read thermometer. That's how you know that you've made it safe. Because things with eggs can curdle pretty easily, you wanna stay nearby whisking almost constantly. It may take five, 10 minutes to thicken up properly. The instant read thermometer is super helpful in letting you know when you're done. But another way to tell is to take a spoon and dip it into the mixture. And if you can leave a nice track across the back with your finger, it's thickened. Once it's properly thickened, you wanna get it off the heat right away and you want to add some vanilla extract. So I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla and nutmeg is the thing that gives eggnog its traditional flavor. So we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. You could add more if you like. And we'll whisk those in. Mmm, smelling good already. And now you wanna take the whole mixture and place it in the refrigerator for at least three hours to chill. It'll chill a little faster if you get it out of the hot pan and into another container. Now the hard part is over and you're pretty much done. And you could drink the eggnog just as is. But to make it a truly special treat, we are going to gild the lily, as they say, and add some whipped cream. If you wanna be nut free, you can add coconut cream. So I have half a cup of whipping cream and I'm gonna add a little sweetener. I'm using powdered swerve and I don't like my whipping cream that sweet, so I'm just adding two tablespoons. And now we just whip it till it holds stiff peaks. And now my lovelies, you are ready to enjoy some sugar-free holiday eggnog. Now, of course you can jazz it up any way you want, add some dark rum or some whiskey, add a shot of espresso, or you can just drink it as is. So we can pour ourselves a lovely glass. It's thickened up a little more in the fridge and it looks really good. Add a dollop of whipped cream and maybe a sprinkle of cinnamon or a little more nutmeg. Now, how festive does this look? Let's give it a try. Do I have something on my nose? Get into the holiday spirit with my sugar-free keto-friendly eggnog. For this delicious keto holiday recipe and so many more, please check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.